Hi everybody, welcome back. If you're back, if you're new, welcome. So this is a wealth building channel and and I just wanted to say that we go over like different career paths. We do some gig work. Work from home is popular. These videos, work from home and gig work and starting your own business are my most popular videos. So um, I do a lot of these. You'll see a lot of them. But I also do some study courses. So be sure and come back if you're trying to train for a specific career path. And I can help you out with some study guides. Um, this would be your channel. I'm going to go off the screen here so be sure and subscribe and come back. I do new videos. I try and do some, post some every day. We'll see how that goes. Okay, I'm going off the screen now so you can pay attention to what I'm saying. Okay, so we're going to go through some. Some of these are work at home. Some of them are not work at home. Some of them are gig works. She's saying she helps foreign students learn English. I've heard this quite a bit. So the, the website that she goes through and the platform is called, I cannot highlight this unfortunately, VIPKid.com. So if you're interested and you can teach other languages, um, oh, well, we can do we can do English on here too. So let me go to see. You have to do a phone, you have to do a phone interview and let's see what else she says. She can make 14 to 22 an hour, which is not is not bad. That's pretty average, and that, that should be what is expected, okay? Not $9 an hour, because some of these things are, if they're off for $9 an hour, I would just pass on it, okay? 22 an hour, 25 an hour is pretty decent. And you're getting to work at home. She's saying that she can travel anywhere she wants. She can work at home. It gives her flexibility. So these things make up the difference if they're not paying you 30 an hour, okay? And um, so that might be one to check out. So this lady here is saying, and by the way, this isn't just for guys. Um, you, I mean, girls, you guys can do this one too. If you know how to knit, you can do that. So she's saying that she helps YouTubers grow their audiences in exchange for a cut of their ad revenue. Um, they were looking for a channel about knitting. So she probably is on YouTube somewhere. And so if you're watching this, hey, she started publishing a video once a week on YouTube on how to knit. I bet she is doing really well, too. So find your niche. And um, so here's her channel, by the way, Studio Knit. So you can look her up. So see how good she's doing on YouTube. I will do that too, by the way. I'll look her up and see how she's doing. So I bet she's doing really good to say how she she's making full time income showing how others knit. She's not saying how much she's making. But we will go on Studio Knit and see how she's doing. How many subscribers she has. All right, so let's go to this one. This one says 9000 a month. Hey, this is another person that's teaching online. She's doing virtual violin lessons. And what in the world is she holding? She looks like a chef. This must be a different one. Okay, so both of these are, this one is bread baking. So both of these are teaching jobs on, I don't know if they're doing it on YouTube, but that, that'd be an idea too. They might be doing better if they're not doing it on YouTube. So this is saying... TakeLessons.com is a free, easy platform that connects students with teachers of all kinds. So she might be doing better than doing it on YouTube. So that's an idea if you have a skill that you can teach, like violin. TakeLessons.com. She's saying at the first she was a side hustle, but within six months she had 50 students. She's making 9000 a month. There, That's how you want to do it. Now this lady over here saying she makes bread. Look how, look how happy she is. 12000 a month making bread. Hey, she really is making bread. Um, I might learn how to make bread myself and teach it. My God. So she has 13 different courses. Go get a job at Panera Bread. Learn how to make some really good bread and then start your own business. There you go. So she's saying udemy.com, they offer online courses. And she took a few courses on making videos and making money on YouTube. 
And now she has her own bread baking courses. I wonder if she's on YouTube too. She said I could use the platform to use, make her bread baking courses and making money on it. I think she might, maybe she's on, I don't know if she's on UDM, UDEMY. That might be where she's making her um, courses. Okay. So she uses an older video camera. She uses her website, northwestsourdough.com. She does some on YouTube, Facebook. And she has, I always talk about this a lot in all of my videos here. Get your skill down and teach, right? I mean, I know people that are charging like $7,500 a course for, for something. Um, whatever your niche is. Violin lessons, guitar lessons, baking bread. Who would have thought you'd make 12000 a month baking bread? I bet you a lot of people out here know how to make specific things and could um, do this. These are some ideas I'm throwing out here for you. Start your own business. Make some side hustle money. Start off making some side hustle money. You could go get your skills on this website here. I have heard of this website before. Um, this is a thousand dollars a month posting online classes. This is another teacher here. Okay, so she has um, on posting online art classes. Apparently, she knows how to do art. And just like there's another guy on there, and I can't even think of his name. A white guy that um, has like um, bushy hair and he does a lot of crazy videos on art. I can't even think of his name, but everybody makes fun of him too. And I can't, if anybody can think of his name, I'll probably think of it when this video is over with. But he does a lot of art videos too. And I, I know a lot of people that make fun of him, but I bet he's making a good six figure just doing art and posting videos on his art. I mean, it's crazy. So she's saying she discovered 300 students that viewed it after the first month. She got a royalty check, and um, she made $1,000. She uploaded one of her art courses to Skillshare, and it fit in her life. And um, she's, how much is she saying? $1,000 in her first month posting online. So she's not saying how much she's making now, but she's saying she made 1000 her first month. It doesn't even give our website or anything on here. It would be nice if she... Oh, here it is right here. I guess this is her name right here. O-H-N-M-A-R-W-I-N. -N. Okay. So if you want to look for some of her art classes on Skillshare, there you go. All right. Offer your know-how with ease. That's right. I, I tell you this in a lot of my videos. I did an esthetician video, and some of them women will be working it. I mean, crazy money. Just teaching people how to do esthetician stuff. Um, making jewelry. You know how to make jewelry. If you don't have a skill, maybe you could go in there and take some classes and figure out what your skills are. And then go and teach it. Learn it. Teach it. And um, there you go. So this is another um, decor8blog.com. So gives you some suggestions on setting up a shop. Um Personally, I would just start off online. That way you don't have a lot of overhead. But hey, what do I know? Okay, price it right so it's going to um, teach you how to do these things. First, you add in all the costs of your supply, your resources. Keep the cost reasonable and then you can get some, build it up with your students. You don't want to go too low and you don't want to go too high. Um, Decide whether you'll be teaching a one-time class or a workshop with several sessions. And um, decide whether you're going to charge, you know, you can buy your supplies wholesale and give the kid, you know, your students a discount. And, um, you know, they have a lot of these paint-by-number craft things going on all over the place. Whoever started that business is doing really well right now. Ladies Craft Night Out. And I think they have it paint, Ladies Night Out painting too. I've seen some of those like wine and painting or something. And uh, they've turned it into like a whole 
whole business. That's pretty cool. All right, selling your things. Okay, we've talked about this on other videos. Clutter. Uh, you go to the thrift stores, garage sales, flea markets. Um, find things that people are just throwing away or giving away. Buy them up and then resell them. Clean them up if you need to clean them up. Just keep in mind that you will need to have a place to store these things. So if you're buying a lot of furniture and all those things, you might need to buy, need, might need to rent out a storage place to put them all. I've talked about a lot of these types of jobs on my um, gig works videos. I have a whole playlist on them. Poshmark is another one. Same kind of thing. Your clothes. You can, uh, to price an item, you'll need to go in there and find something similar and then um, put it on there. Just keep in mind that they will take some money for selling it on their platform. So that's how, you know, you'll lose a little doing that. Selling video games. Okay, I bet. You've got to know something about them. Toysdiva.com. Expanded to include Japanese toys and snacks and started making about 100 of 100,000 of sales per month. I don't know if they're exaggerating on these or not. If anybody does these kind of things, let me know. She says she kept some old PlayStation games and she listed them on eBay. Now, I know technology changes pretty rapidly, so I have a hard time believing some of that stuff because who wants to buy old games on old stuff? Maybe, maybe there is a market for it. If somebody knows, let me know. I know I work around technology a lot. Nobody is going backwards and wanting to do old video games. But maybe I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, if you want to check it out, it's toysdiva.com. And uh, that could be something to check out. All right. She says she earns 10000 a month selling books. Now, I have heard of this, and this sounds like something something that I would want to try because I see books at these Goodwills and thrift stores all the time. But again, you're going to have to have some place to put these books. Okay, If you're going to go and buy a whole bunch of books, you're going to need a way to organize them if somebody buys them. Alright, so somebody told us we could sell books on Amazon Marketplace. We listed out 11 of them, 8 of our sold. We decided to continue. And they buy the books at garage sales, estate sales. They can go into Goodwill, thrift stores, and buy them. Sometimes they'll give them away for like a dollar, and you can sell them for 5 to 20 bucks. And, and I do believe you can make good money doing this. However, just like I just said, um, you know, consider the cost of shipping. You might need to mark them up for shipping. And you're also going to need a place to store these. And if you start getting overwhelmed, by getting too many books, you're going to need a way of organizing them so that you can find them. You're going to need a way of tracking what you have and you don't have. So you can easily do that with an Excel spreadsheet, I'm thinking. How long is... Okay, this is our last one. Old furniture. Now, this is another one that I did a gig... gig um, I did a couple of gig uh, gigs on this. Selling old furniture. Now... There's a couple of websites, I think Shares, SharePoint it might be, I did a video on it, where they will go and you will pick up people's um, furniture that they need to get rid of, mattresses, whatever, and they will resell them. I don't know if that's what she's talking about. She's talking about just getting furniture at like thrift stores, fixing them up, and then reselling them. Uh, same kind of thing. You fix them up. And she's selling, and she's saying that she does this on OfferUp.com and on Instagram. This is her her hashtag if you're interested. And she says she on on her on her best month she can do three thousand a month, just fixing up some uh, furniture. So if you have that handy skill, that could be, and that's for that's definitely for you guys. This is a one for you guys too. If you have that skill, I know a lot of men that have that handy handyman skill, carpentry, carpentry skill, and you could do that. could definitely be an idea. But again, you're going to need a place to store the furniture. I'm getting ready to end this video because it's getting kind of lengthy. I hope I didn't lose anybody. 
I know everybody loves these kind of videos, so maybe I kept you till the end. Thanks for watching. Be sure and subscribe because I try to send out new videos every um, day if possible. Thank you.